What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial video. Today, as you guys can tell, we are doing a Sony Vegas Pro 13 best render setting for 60 FPS and 1080p. If you guys are using Sony Vegas Pro 13 to edit your videos and your file sizes are just getting a little bit too big, well, here's the best render settings for you guys to upload the fastest to YouTube to have and also have the really, really awesome quality for a very small file size. As you guys can tell, these are my uh, videos. They're kind of big. They're about average, maybe 600 megabytes, which is small, but my upload speed is about one megabyte per second so that's really bad so i want to have really smaller file sizes and these are wmv and to get an even smaller file size with pretty equal quality this is how you do it so of course first you gotta want your project video properties make sure go to video make make this 1920 by 1080 uh, make sure this is an unknown progressive scan scan one square frame rate 60 fps that one or you can just type in 60 if you want and pixel format 8 bit is fine. Full right, make put this at best. Uh, it, it'll have a little bit longer of a rendering time and maybe, but a bit more of a file size. But if you guys want good, will be fine. Will look fine too. All right, so leave it at good for the smallest file size. Gaussian, make sure you blend fields. This will deinterlace the video, so you won't have those horizontal lines, which are really bad when you move around fit quickly. Uh, don't click this unless you want your like your video file to match it, but because it, 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 then it will change all this. So you, and then you have to redo all of this. So don't click that. Um, and you can start all projects with five. I won't do that because I like to have it at 1280 because um, 1080p is just too long to upload for my upload speed. So yeah, this is really good right here. Now I'm just gonna put in a, a random video so I can have the render button. So once you're done editing your video, you know how you all have your um, put together clips and stuff. Go to render as. It's right that button right there. If it will load, there we go. So name it to whatever you want. Uh, test. I'm just gonna name it test. Uh, to whatever folder you want, and here's what you want to do. So it, your thing will look like this. Now go to where it says main concept av slash slash aac dot mp4. It's the very first one, not these other ones, but make sure it's the first main concept, the AVC slash AAC. Go to the drop down arrow and go till you find Internet 1080 HD 1080p or Internet HD 720p. Now for 1080p, uh, you, you just click on that, but don't just click it. You gotta customize the template. So uh, so where you make sure you have that checked. Where it says frame size, of course, HD 1080p. Make sure it's the 1920 by 1080, not this 1440. Make sure it's HD 1080p 1920 by 1080. Uh, un don't make sure that's not checked. Uh, main and put this at 60. If you're going, if you want to have 60 FPS video, uh, uncheck that. That's very important because basically, if you check that, it will adjust the frame rate and it actually, I think, it will put it to 30 FPS, which is not good at all. Of course, you want to have a 60 FPS video. Again, make sure non-progressive scan. That will also deal with interlace the video one. Number reference. Uh, leave that and variable bit rate. You can, uh, I think this is fine. If you want uh, a smaller file size, make it, you can put it at 20. Um, but yeah, leave that too. And if you guys have, if you guys want to use your G, your graphics card to have faster rendering times, you can render using CUDA. Um, if you want to know how to check that, go to system and check GPU. Mine, my, I have the GTX 970, so I have NVIDIA CUDA. So that's, so I can use CUDA. But yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, make sure you have enable progressive download check. That's also important for audio. This is uh, kind of important too. Make sure it's at 48,000. But bitrate, put this down to 96,000. So you might be thinking, well, your audio won't sound good. Y your audio sounds perfectly fine and it'll have a smaller file size. So that's really great. System, there's nothing here you need to change. And project, video rendering quality. If you're doing a 1080p 60 FPS video, you probably want to do it at good. Because even if you're doing the M MP4, the H h.264 uh, codec it's still gonna be a pretty big file size so if you're doing 1080p 60 fps just put it at good it'll still look really good quality because it's 1080p and the 60 fps will look really fluid on youtube so good is perfectly fine and you'll have a smaller file size which is a lot easier to work with so perfect that's what you want to do if you want to save it you can name it like um youtube youtube 1080p you want and 60 fps if you want to do that i already have a file saved so i'm not going to do that so that's pretty much it here's your video again you can pause it here's your audio system project press ok once you're done i'm not going to because i already have that template it's right here as you can see same settings same audio settings all right so that's pretty much it guys hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of me showing you the best 
rendering settings for Sony Vegas Pro 13 to have the smallest file size, but really great quality. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have um, faster YouTube uploading times and faster rendering times with great quality. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.